The Cities of Sigmar Great to Glory continues and in today's video the army is getting some heavy backup with the Iron Weld Great Cannon. When I was looking at this model before I started painting, I realised that there's not a lot of different sections to be painted. It's made up of three main parts. The first is the cannon itself and I give it a base colour of Abaddon Black. The next main part is the cannon's wooden frame and this is a good chunk of the model. I wanted it to have a lighter tone so I went with Bane Blade Brown as its base colour. I kept it simple for the metal colour and went with Lead Belcher. There are a good few metal parts spread across the model so make sure to have another quick check before you finish because it's really easy to miss one or two parts. Moving on to some of the smaller parts now and first it's the ropes and I use Hobgrot Hide to paint them. When it came to the cannon's shells, I wasn't sure what way to paint them because they looked like they were wrapped up but since there isn't a lot of white on this model yet, I decided to paint them with Wraithbone. The final base colour for now is Calgar Blue on the big front shield and that's pretty much it for the whole model. There's not a whole lot of other parts to paint but you could have the wood, some different colours or some designs on the shield but for now, it's time to move on to the shading. Once the base coats are dry, I start the shading with Agrax Earthshade and thin down all my shades slightly with Lamian Medium, so it flows better and it doesn't look too dark when dry. For the metal, I go with Nullin Oil and just like before, there are a lot of separate metal parts here, so take your time and double check to make sure you get every part covered. Reichland Flesh Shade was then used to darken down the rope. I almost forgot to give the cannon a shade, so I gave it a good going over with Nullin Oil. And to finish the shading off, I used Dracken Off Nightshade on the shield. To finish off the metal, I used Iron Breaker to highlight the edges and any rivets across the model. For the wood and the ropes, I go with Flayed on Flesh and decide to dry brush the highlights on because some of the parts can be really awkward to get to, so using a small dry brush does the job perfectly. For the cannon itself, I wasn't really sure about what to do, but I chose to give it a light dry brush of Lead Belcher. The darker silver colour gives it an almost silver shimmer look and it turned out really good when finished. Moving on to the shield and I left this to the very end because when handling the model I was holding it by the shield and didn't want to damage the paint on it. I went with Rune Lord Brass on the metal parts just to give it another metal colour and not to have everything all silver. I shaded it with Agrax Earthshade and then dry brushed it with Stormhold Silver to finish it off. For the parchment pieces, I use Zandri Dust as the base colour, shade them in with Reichland Flesh Shade and then highlight the edges with Flayed One Flesh. And just like the Ogre Warhulk shield, I add a checkerboard pattern onto the bottom of this big shield. And I start by painting a couple of thin layers of red bone squares. I shade them with Apothecary White and then dry brush Pallid Witch Flesh along the very edges. I give the shield a quick dry brush of Rust Grey for the final touch. After a quick dry brush of Bane Blade Brown onto the bottom to give it a dirty look, the Iron Well Cannon is finished and honestly, there is not a whole lot to paint in this model. There are a few parts that can be tricky to get to, but overall it's a handy model to paint and looks really good once the crew are added in. My Cities of Sigmar army finally has some heavy backup that comes in at 150 points and right now that puts the army total at a 1150 points. The finish line of 1500 is so close and in the next video I had the final unit of free guild cavaliers. But if you guys like this video make sure to let me know in the comment section below if it helped you out painting let me know and once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.